So this right here is what we call a porcupine pickle. It's essentially a pickle, but with porcupine face and porcupine spikes. I don't know if that you're gonna wanna eat this or put this on your sandwiches. Porcupine pickle. This one right here is a turtle toaster. So real live turtle that pops out toast out of his shell. Um, probably great for in the morning, but if he kind of gets away, you don't have to go far because again, it's a turtle that makes toast. Here we have Horse Pirate. Um, as you can see, he's a regular horse, um, but he is also a full-time pirate. Uh, if you couldn't tell, he has a boat with a sail that says pirate, and he has booty. Um, that way that none of the other fake horse pirates can, you know, get in the way. This is a horse pirate. Now, none of those things make sense, just like the title of our drink today, which we are making a seabird. Now, the seabird cocktail might be, we'd call them cousins of the jungle bird or the yellow bird cocktail. So this is gonna have a lot of rum in it. It's gonna have a lot of different flavors. It's gonna be amazing though. It's gonna be a nice tropical fruity drink. It's gonna be tall, it's gonna be awesome, and it's gonna get us ready for the summer. First thing we gotta do in this cocktail is we gotta go ahead, I already peeled my mint, but we're gonna drop a bunch of mint leaves. Go ahead and drop like 10 or 12 in there. After you drop all your mint in there, go ahead and just muddle it up a little bit. So by doing this, we're gonna uh, basically be releasing some of the oils and uh, just kinda get some of the, the fragrance of the, the mint leaves. That's really all you want. You don't wanna smash it up. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take a lime and we're gonna cut it in half. We're gonna get our juicer here and we're gonna give ourselves half an ounce of lime juice. This guy, I'm sure, will give me more than half an ounce if I want, so, oh yeah. And we're gonna dump that straight into the glass. Now, we're not done with our juices yet. We're gonna go ahead and add one full ounce of pineapple juice here. Give it a nice fruity flavor. Nice and tropical. Now, next, we're going with a little bit of a unique flavor here. So this normally would be my simple syrup, but what I did was I infused it with a little bit of ginger. So it's got kind of a different color hue to it, we will say, and we're gonna just go with one fourth of an ounce, so that way it gives a nice little, little flavor change, but it's not gonna really overtake the drink too much. So one fourth of an ounce of ginger simple syrup. Now I know what you're thinking, you're, you're like, Tyler, you told us this was gonna be a very boozy cocktail. We haven't put booze in this thing yet. Let's go ahead and change that. We're gonna start it off with three fourths of an ounce of Midori. So this is gonna have a green tint to it. Right in the glass. Now the next ingredient, it asks for a vanilla rum, but you know, most rums have that distinct vanilla kind of flavor to it. Um, I didn't have a vanilla rum, so I'm going with a vanilla liqueur here, which I think will do just fine in its place. So we're gonna go with one full ounce of that. Right into the glass. Now we're gonna keep this liquor train going because like I said, this thing is gonna be boozy as hell. So we're gonna go with one ounce of our light rum here. So Bacardi is always gonna be my choice. You can pick something else. Oh, I'm getting to the end, but one full ounce in the glass. We gotta shake this bad boy up. So let's go ahead, throw a bunch of ice into our tin, set that aside. Go ahead and take your glass and just give her a dump and we're gonna give her a good hard shake. So would a seabird live in the ocean? like under the water and just like, like would it have feathers or would it like still live in a nest and then just like have to go into the, like, what is a seabird? Now you all know how much I love my crushed ice. So go ahead and take a nice tall glass here. I'm gonna use a Pilsner glass for this one cause I thought it would look really cool with the last kind of couple steps we have to do here. So first put some crushed ice in there. Yeah. Now go ahead and take your fine strainer for this one because we don't want all the little mint bits that we've just shaken up in here to get in the cocktail. So go ahead and double strain this guy and we're gonna go in the glass. Oh, it's a nice pretty green color and it should go all the way to the bottom. Just like so. Perfect. So now what we're gonna do, this part's kinda a little bit, I mean, it's up for your kinda however you wanna do this, but I'm gonna put a little bit more crushed ice on top. Just a little bit, perfect. Now what I have here is just some blue curacao and some just regular filtered water here. So what I'm gonna do, cause you want this curacao to be a little bit runnier cause we want it to kind of fall down the drink. So we're gonna go ahead and put about a fourth of an ounce of blue curacao in. Just about there. And then we're gonna put it about another fourth of an ounce of just regular water in. There we go. So now we have our water curacao mixture in there. I'm gonna 
Take the back side of my spoon here and just kind of give it a little stir. So now we got our tears out and we got our water mixture here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rim it around the entire top part of the glass. And as you can see, it's gonna start to fall hopefully a little bit more, but that looks pretty sexy. You got a nice blue top with the kind of yellow green there. One last step, go ahead and take some mint leaves, give them a nice slap, get some of those oils released, some of that fragrance. Oops, get them down in there just a little bit. And there we have our seabird. This looks amazing. I love the way this looks. You got the blue still kind of falling down a little bit. It's gonna incorporate with the drink. Uh, I don't know, should I use a straw for this? Maybe? I found a straw finally, so we're gonna go ahead and put that in. Oh, so nice. Let's give the Seabird a try. Oh, very fruity. The mint is amazing in this. I Such good aroma from that. You get the pineapple juice. That vanilla is actually giving you a real nice uh, flavor, just a real nice sweetness that goes with it. It smoothens everything out a little bit. It's interesting. I. I didn't think the vanilla would go well with the rest of these ingredients, but it actually, it makes this drink, I would say. The blue curacao on top, I haven't quite gotten there yet, but I, I just love the way it looks. If anything, that's just for show. I don't even care how it tastes, but you guys need to give this drink a try. This is a kick-ass summer drink. It looks beautiful. You're gonna impress all your friends if you guys are out at a barbecue or anything like that. If you got the time, please go ahead and give this video a like comment away as much as you want, and then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Somebody tell me what a seabird is, or figure out some, if you've got a weirder animal than a seabird, go ahead and send it my way. I wanna see these. If you got something better than a horse pirate, I, I'm all ears. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy this drink. I'll see you next time.